Right, hello everybody, welcome to game number one of the Blitz Pit. Good day, Nick, Blitz Pit, Blitz Pit Invitational. Um, this was a res tournament, one minute turns, created by Good day, Nick, and uh, financed mostly by him. He made a bunch of prizes for us. Um, he invited loads of good coaches, like myself and Ungern. Who I got in the first round. Ungern was pretty unlucky, actually, because he's got Dark Elves, and he faced like one of the two Dwarf teams in the first round. Um, which is obviously a horrible matchup for him, and uh, racial matchup. There were there were some kind of complicated rules that I didn't really bother to read. I just thought I can take dwarves and spam guards. That's what I did. Um, I don't really like. I didn't like the rules for dark elves. Really, I feel like they're a bit limited by the rule set. And as you can see from him, he's only got eleven players, and uh, he had an apple. But still, I just didn't. With overtime, I didn't like Dark Elves or Wood Elves for this format. Um, if I thought about it more, I would have liked it at all. I would have probably gone for Necromantic or Chaos or something. Um, but I just thought I can brainlessly go <laughs> guard on dwarves. <laughs> so that's exactly what I did. And actually, Jawsus uh, challenged me during this game to take. 30 seconds per turn he said every every second that I take 30 seconds or every turn that I, I complete in less than 30 seconds you would give me uh, 50 bits for so not only was this a one minute one minute uh, turn game for me this was actually a 30 second turn game for me I only went over 30 seconds one time in the entire match so that's good isn't it this is, I mean, this is a bit open here he could have picked off this guy and uh base the ball, not that it would really done a lot, but it could have done, couldn't we? He does have the mighty blow hit every turn, which is which is alright, isn't it? So obviously I'm gonna try and protect my two movement. Well, obviously he's got the ball so he's gonna try and be protected, but the uh the armor rate slayer's got to be protected as much as possible. Which I guess I'm not going to. Because <laughs> he's got Mighty Blow and I want to use Mighty Blow. So yeah, put him there to protect him at least a little bit. I'm just trying to base people. Just because it's, it's hard to get forward against Dark Elves, isn't it? So, trying to base people to Hulk. Obviously, I'm in nine. Hope can, hopefully, can make something happen on on offense. Very strange game this, because obviously, thirty seconds. I was pretty much totally on autopilot. And I probably should have put this. You know, I should have supported him more. Should now that was too easy for him to get this hit in. It's still not easy for him to hit the uh, Troll Slayer afterwards. This is kind of a standard defense, isn't it, at the moment? Just trying to take the blocks that you can. For oh, 181. Pretty big. Gives us the blitz on here to push forward a bit. I imagine. I imagine that's what I did. The reason this is a replay, by the way, rather than a live match, is my microphone was rubbish. The the day of the blitz, well, the two days of the blitz, but it's done over two days with it being minute one turns. So, um, because my microphone is garbage, that's why these are just replays. Nice. Nice Kaz, thanks to Mighty Blow. Or maybe maybe Mighty Blow didn't have an effect. 
No, the Mighty Blow didn't have an effect, but it could have done. <laughs> this is, I went a bit too far here, I think, didn't I? Or is this alright? I think it's alright. Yeah, he'd have to do a GFI. There's one GFI had to be done by the long beard, but it wouldn't have mattered if I'd failed the second one. Well, wouldn't have mattered too much, but obviously I thought I don't want to get surfed. <laughs> Maximizing blocks really. Not sure I like the follow up there. Wrestle. Wrestles down the slope. shame because it wasn't easy to get the surf here was it because uh, he's based up could have run around and pushed him in there and pushed him and pushed him again but I just thought easier to forget the surf and just try to push forward probably should have stood, stood him at first and he wasn't witty Probably didn't need to make the second year by there, he was unlikely to serve, wasn't he? Yeah, but I had three rerolls, so I thought it's <laughs> I didn't mind, and that's why I took that one Dean reroll, because I thought two rerolls should be enough, because I've got so far forward. I felt pretty uh, I felt pretty confident. He's pretty much out of position with me, his guys are. And it's sandwiched between the guard a bit here. Pretty, pretty confident. Also, by that second GFI means he's got a 2 plus dodge out. Because if he'd stood there, it'd have only been a 3 2, wouldn't it? So. Does the uphill and gets the double pile. I'm sad about that. <laughs> that would have been the surf, I guess, if he'd gone for it. <laughs> and doesn't run back with him? Oh no, he then changes his mind and runs back with him. Now this guy can definitely get surfed, can't he? Push him there, then there, then there, then there. Do I, do I go for the surf here? Yes. Good boy, Jim. Oh, greed. The greed. And then pow him, so don't get it. <laughs> Classic. There's plenty of time in, in, in scoring range, more or less, can just waddle around. Try to get central so that if he uh, tries to L screen, you can go either way. Don't really want to be on one side against Dark Elves. Against anybody, really. I guess against everybody, you'd rather remain central, but I think it's very important versus Dark Elves. Obviously, they've got the Witch Elf to surf you as well. Leap Witch Elf to the surf. Cheeky GFI. Seems to have had not great dice this game, does he, young man? Bunch of ones. The apple that hit as well, by the way. 
looking like uh, blitzing here would be the best to score. But <laughs> I want to hit the witch elf, don't I? <laughs> she's armor seven. And his uh, mighty blow is annoying as well anyway. Get the mighty blow hitting every turn. And plus this does help us stay central and get in scoring range anyway. Not ideal letting this guy up, is it? Ah, so he swapped places to get the tackle and the dodger. Obviously while the cage is based it doesn't really matter because it's still going to be alright. I kind of ignored the fact that the witch elf was basing here. <laughs> I was going to leave him here and then I realised, oh no, the, the cage. So now it's still alright because whichever one she knocks down. Could have put him there as well. But, um, that was pretty pretty bad, nearly really bad of me. Man. And he does get the mighty blow, the armour rate. Finally. Hey. It was worth keeping him on there. Now I've got a bit of the witch elf. And get forward. But I think the armor seven, even if it's a, I mean she's a good player as well. It's not just that she's armor seven. I like the the dark elf runner. I generally hit just because he's armor seven. <laughs> but uh, witch elves are good players as well, aren't they? So. They're a high value target as well as a soft one. Then I really messed up a bit here, right? Because he's got the jump up, so I had to, I had to make a few GFIs. I made them all, ridiculously. So that looked, <laughs> that looked pretty good in the end. <laughs> well, funny you should say that, Christopher. I think there was too much guard, yeah. Um, because when I played Pupok, I believe, he didn't really have... No, Corleon, maybe. It didn't feel like I had... He was. He didn't feel like he was lacking in guard. I think it was Corleon. With a death roll. Spoilers. And for the greedy mighty blow hit. So there you go, lovely turn eight stall. Every turn under 30 seconds. <laughs> I just thought backliner, because it's not easy to score with movement seven, is it? It's not easy to get the one the pushes he needs. Yeah, mighty ball panning on. Um, basically. <laughs> could have had a, I could have dropped one guard and had a panning on, on the troll slayer, couldn't I? I could have had block on the runner. Dodge on the runner potentially. I just didn't think about it. I genuinely gave no thought at all to my team. I just thought, I can spam 10 guard. <laughs> I can take dwarves and spam guard. So that's what I did. If I thought about it, I'd like to think I would have thought of something like Crucifer's. 
But, um, yeah, I didn't do nothing. Or, uh, Dios, isn't it? The Mighty Blow on the Werewolves is pretty good. Block Mighty Blow Werewolves is pretty good. Really good, in fact. Humans maybe would have been alright as well. He gets the power straight away. And then he's just trying to uh, hurt things. So yeah, that, that, I didn't, I didn't mind only backlining there against movement seven. It's they've got to, they've got to know what they're doing and roll all of the dice, haven't they? So it's pretty unlikely that they get everything. Could have definitely made that three dice, couldn't he? But again, it's minute, minute turn, so maybe. <laughs> maybe that was a factor. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Five, yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, good job he made it three dice. He goes for a competition here, even though it's uh, completely irrelevant with it being res and no progression. Second half, still got 11 aside, but his, his apple's gone. But it's not ideal, is it, to have done zero damage? But then I've only got one mighty blow, so I guess it's not. Uh... <laughs> yeah, maybe he was, Jennifer. No, I don't think he was, I think he was just passing it. Ran, ran door vanity pass. Put the guard further forward there for the witch elf, blocking on the other ass. Yeah, you definitely need Nos as well, for sure. <laughs> Why don't cover the sides against Els? Because, well, I don't, I don't mind if he, uh, if he scores early, because I'll be able to score back, I feel. And obviously with which Els, he might be able to surf, he might, you know. Trixie surfings. Plus, if you you know if you kind of try to cover the sides, you're really slow. So it's, it's not great. You're not great at covering the sides anyway. Because at least with a, if you're central, you can go either side, can't you? I'd be more likely to go wide against high elves or pro elves or what elves. But against dark elves, I don't know. He's got he's got a leap. He's got a leap witch elf. I wasn't confident with her. Uh, Covering the sidelines, to be honest. Yeah, this way, if they commit to a side, you get the, you get the respond with everybody, don't you? If they, if they if they if they go down one side, if you're wide, then half of your team is useless. That was an incredible, both down there for me. <laughs> incredible both down. Kaz is his own guy, and uh, potentially there's a route to the ball. If these were both pals. Well, no, not really, actually. Not really, just because I've got no agility, have I? I'll just blitz this guy. I don't know, I mean, I said I would always take being 1-0 down and uh, having six, like, having seven turns to score. Do you know what I mean? I, I would always take being uh, my opponent scoring in two turns. I would always, if I could start every game having kicked and my opponent scored in two turns, I would take that. I don't know why I didn't blitz with Mighty Blow there. I don't know why. Maybe because it would have been a GFI for the second hit. I don't know why. I probably should have hit with Mighty Blow there, right? Maybe I wanted him to keep him as like a sweeper. I guess that was it. Oop. He opens with a GFI. Oh, Reroll gone. Oh, 
and a disgusting Kaz. Instant Apo for that. Yeah, well, it's obviously not so good if they've got a wizard, but uh, yeah, I would pretty much take my opponents going into two turn every single time. Yeah, I think I would. Yeah, he did, the guard meant that he couldn't do the uh, hit on the runner there, did he? So another removal here. Down to nine players on defense. That's not good, is it? Oh wait, oh, I didn't up all the uh, I didn't up all the cars. I'm gonna up all the KO instead. Interesting. I just totally lied and said I appled that, but I didn't. Was he badly hurt? Let's have a look. He was badly... I don't know why he didn't apple that. Probably should have appled that, shouldn't I? But didn't. But anyway, I appled the cable. Don't know why I didn't apple that. Crazy. Now I'm blitzing with a frenzy. Now that it's a frenzy trap, let's go. Oh no, it wasn't. I blitzed him. Yeah, maybe I was. <laughs> I thought for sure I would have appled that. So he's got, got a bit of a safety there. And again, I don't want to make it too easy for him to reverse. Like, that's the thing, isn't it? With elves, they can always reverse pretty easily. So. Yeah, maybe that was it, so I feel yeah, maybe. maybe I wanted to save it for a KO, yeah. Actually affect the board. It's annoying that else can just roll two pluses, isn't it? Bloody elves. But still, he's kind of in a in a corner, isn't he? He's not. It's not easy for him to stall this out for a while. As long as I can kind of take away his options, he, I mean, he hasn't stood these up, so he hasn't got much of an option for anything else here. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, sometimes they can fail. I think this guy will come in and then I'll move someone else back in the middle. Yeah. He's probably going to have to score this turn, I think. I guess he could move him there and have a couple screening him. So he wouldn't have to score. I think he will, though. I'm not sure I like that, dodging away from tackle when he was going to score anyway. I think that was a bit too risky that, wasn't it? Two plus dodge there, just to get a 2D hit with Mighty Blow against Armour I think that really wasn't worth it, because he would have had to re-roll it, otherwise he just... <laughs> the ball gets served, doesn't it? So... He basically loses the game if he if he doesn't re-roll, so he had to re-roll. I didn't I really didn't like that play, but there you go, he did it. So now he's on nine. And still got eleven. So it's got a two-man advantage. With five turns to score. That's pretty good. Five turns, three re-rolls. That's a pretty good spot really for the dwarves to be in. Good chance to win this in normal time now. I can see why he would, yeah. I mean, look, it's, it's five times out of six, it's a good play, isn't it? <laughs> but I think it's a bit risky, the fact that, you've got, you know, you'd have to, he's only had to, uh, with, you know, with over, the chance of overtime. If it had been first half, it would have been a lot better because he would have still had two re-rolls after it and, it, you know, it would have been all right. But I think with the possibility of overtime, I don't like it so much. It was a pretty brutal kick that as well, wasn't it? Right back. Right back in the end zone. Not what you want when you want to score in five turns. 
There's dwarves. <laughs> Absolute perfect kick. In your end zone. That's not perfect. Okay, perfect would have been two to the right, but still nearly almost perfect. Brutal kick. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Fad, do you remember when, when you used to do that every time when you set up? Oh, the, oh, those were the horrible days. Yep. They literally had to when you when you did one minute tournaments you couldn't have a tree man. You couldn't use a tree man in in, uh, in one minute tournaments because you didn't have time <laughs> to set up. <laughs> it wasn't even possible. <laughs> oh dear me. A nice pass. Oh, that's why I didn't get to the troll slayer, he was he'd been knocked down. And uh, I moved out of range of this guy. So I didn't need to have anyone protecting him. Maybe that was a mistake by him. Maybe he could have had this guy further in. So that I would have had to protect the ball. So, you know, he's got he's got the screen out. Now it's getting really hard, isn't it? Because now I've only got three turns. <laughs> and only just at the halfway, just over the halfway line. So I've got to move max movement the last two turns. Uh, it's not looking good. Don't like that blitz. No, true, but then I couldn't get any any anywhere, could I? Maybe it would have been better to blitz this guy, but even then, it's there's not much I could have done anyway. I don't think. I wanted to stay at central so that I could go either way. It's just hard being how much. How much ground I had to cover was the key thing, I think, in five turns. Yeah, but I mean, I went quite far with the ball carry, didn't I? You know, that was the thing. Ball carry, uh... It's hard. It's hard because you've got to protect the ball, and you've got to uh, like it, I could have pushed forward in front of there, but I couldn't actually uh, get in there, right? So that was the problem. This is the turn that I went over thirty seconds, by the way. The only turn in the game I went over thirty seconds, and it was only just over thirty seconds as well. So now obviously trying to push left here. A turn later. And he hasn't really covered it much, has he? So I thought this was alright. That was a horrible re-roll there, the first GFI. I really wanted to make some GFIs to protect him. <laughs>
six beaver and three koala pregnancies of fantastic commentary. <laughs> glorious. Thank you very much, VIP Moridan. Absolutely glorious. <laughs> Thank you very much for staying fantastic for 27 months. Unbelievable. Thank you very, very much. So, yeah, this is pathetic, isn't it, here? I've, I've done this. And I've got, I, mean, I haven't got anyone behind him, have I? This is the problem. I haven't got anyone behind him. And I, I don't think I could have got anyone behind him. Maybe, you know, maybe I should have exposed the ball a bit more on my way there. Maybe I should have played a bit more risky, try and push players forward earlier. Because I had no one behind him, so all of his dodges were two pluses. Easy to get there and just elf screen it completely. And because I've pushed down a sideline now, of course, I, it's easier for him to, it's easier for him to uh, elf screen. If I'd been in the middle still, this wouldn't have been as easy, would it? So as it is, I'm totally shut down. Jim Shard. And at this point, I regret it taking over 30 seconds because I thought this, <laughs> there's absolutely nothing I can do. So he went for the surf, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was it was really bad. It was really bad. It was so deep, but I, I guess I should have, I should have like you know the previous five four turns. I maybe I should have been trying to really get it forward. You know, I really could have exposed the ball a bit to get further forward. Maybe I could have done, but it wasn't easy, obviously. <laughs> KO stays out is lovely and won the toss so now he's only got eight players to stop us so now it's uh, now with eight turns it's looking a lot better isn't it? he does have the leap wrestle so got to be a bit wary of that but obviously pretty confident now against eight men with a full eight turns to score just got to play totally safe keep the ball safe and punch things as much as possible <laughs> then I realised he might get a blitz so I <laughs> had to uh, try to set up against a blitz a little bit Not a lot. <laughs> get the ref. I always forget I have to get the ref to be honest. <laughs> a leap wrestle, a leap wrestle runner would be something else, wouldn't it? Oh, I remembered. I remembered that I had the bribe. Well done. Remembered what happened less than less than thirty seconds ago. Good play by me. <laughs> I don't know if I should have gone so close here, but I figured it was all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like with every race, but got the removal and he's still only got seven men. <laughs> yeah, but it was still mostly bash teams though, wasn't it? Still good versus the bash teams, Chris, though. Would have been all right versus this as well. He hasn't got that much dodge. So again, I've just got to jam in a bit, haven't I? Hit the defenseless guy and then foul him, hopefully. Mm. 
The good thing is just having eight turns to score means that I don't have to go crazy. Oh, did a cheer fight a foul? I don't know why I wanted this guy in here. He just fouled, didn't he? Bit, maybe I just did it by mistake. <laughs> but the uh, the get the refs doing is quite good there, and they've got two KOs that I wouldn't have got without get the ref. I wouldn't have fouled without a bribe. I guess I wanted all those guards around him so that the leap in would be a minus three, but it seemed it seems a bit excessive, doesn't it? Because <laughs> I can't really hope to hold this formation as any pants. Get to hit his mighty blow now, don't I? And foul him as well. Probably could, but I still don't want to. So I feel that's the thing, isn't it? Because all my players are good. I guess I could foul with the, the backup runner. But like all the players have got guards, that you really don't need to lose any of them, do you? This looks like another GFI to foul. Should have moved him there, shouldn't I? And then he could have gone with his extra movement. Yeah, I probably should have fouled with a runner there. Instead I make a GFI, I didn't have to make it if I'd fouled with a runner. So, wasted a reroll, really. Got the removal though, huge, huge removal. That's his mighty blow gone. <laughs> Bribe failed. <laughs> yeah, I would have probably fouled him even without a ride, to be fair, because I mean, that's, a, that's his mighty blow, isn't it? So now he's only got five men, so now again, it's pretty much over, isn't it? Um, but he's always got the leap in. Which looks like he's gone for now. No, he's not. Hello, just Joe. Not hitting with a mighty blow. Tisk tisk. I mean, okay. I guess I guess that's it. I just wanted the tackle hits. I failed. Hmm. Not, <laughs> not the best turn for advancing, was it? But again, in no hurry to score. Especially getting 50... 50 bits per, per sub 30 second turn. Ce joueur préfère se battre entouré. No, it doesn't follow. I thought it followed for the jump up block. Well, I guess not, because then you end up based on. Oh, this is much better. Then a jump up block. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was pretty great, that. The, the 50 bits per sub 30 second turn. Yeah, guarding all the cage corners. Because he can't leap in, can't he? 
The witch. I guess I should have blitzed the witch. I blitzed that other guy. I think I, blitzed, I think I blitzed the uh, the uh, blitzer here. But I probably should have just been thinking about blitzing the witch elf. Because his leap in wrestle. You know, it's not that bad odds, is it? Uphill. Twenty five percent to get the uh, to get the ball down. And if he gets the ball down, it could go to, uh, could go to kicks, couldn't it? So probably should have been trying to focus the witch elf more than I was. Which I really wasn't. <laughs> and definitely shouldn't have made that cheer fight a foul. So in he comes. Fails the leap. Makes it. And it's only a push. And then it's a 3D <laughs> afterwards because of all the guard. So I was pretty safe on the, on the follow-up hit. I have an all guard cage corners. But um the first it was pretty scary. Maybe I should have uh, brought somebody in there to chain to chain the ball carrier away, rather than relying on this not being a one in nine, which it was. Which I re-rolled. So yeah, that was that was bad play, wasn't it? This character could have gone up four squares up and I could have blocked with him and then pushed the ball carrier free. Yes, yeah, it was quite good having all the guard there. So yeah, down to zero rerolls thanks to thanks to pointless GFI. Should have still had a reroll. And then doing this last action. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, you know, I'm no, I wouldn't be too critical of anybody in this tournament because it was tough. So he's in there for another twenty-five percent shot with the reroll. So you know, it was, they weren't they weren't bad odds really to make him. Was there? Was two, two kind of decent shots he had on the ball. I mean, not decent, but kind of decent. <laughs> it's hard to play perfect blood ball with those times, J5. Well, I mean, not that people any, not that anyone plays blood ball, but perfect blood ball anyway. But you know what I mean. Pushed him here. I think I think I goofed here. Yeah, I think it's where I make the extra block. You know. So three dice in. See, in my head it worked. I thought of it in my head. And then I thought this was really clever. I like I did plan it to then push him there, and then I just didn't. And I just had to push, I had to punch again. I mean, it was on three dice. It was all right. It was all right, wasn't it? Punching on three dice, but I shouldn't have done it, especially with no rerolls. But anyway, so there you go. Scored and got one thousand one hundred bits. <laughs> <laughs> for playing 22 turns in less than 30 seconds. <laughs> that was pretty good. You know, and Ungern didn't play bad, did he? He didn't do anything wrong, really. Um, just, I had better dice and he lost the toss in overtime. So there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.